Hello, hello, and welcome everyone back to Winners and Losers here at GregorySantana.com. Uh, my apologies for being not in the site up. I know a lot of people have been visiting it and uh, just have a way too much stuff on my plate. But the most important thing is let's keep a focus on the money. And the money is going to the charts. Here we go. B A B B B. It went to drop to fifty percent. It went to drop from its uh, fifty nine percent to fifty percent here, and you can see that our midfield play is moving up. So our midfield qualifier was right there, and it broke over my my number, B. and uh, I was moving to stop here. So I got to do this, and that would be a reminder. To come back. I have not done my adjustments as of yet, but I wanted to get this out. I apologize for yesterday of the recording for September 17. Found that I had a slightly off setting with my Thinkorswim, and I thank this thing people at Thinkorswim, and Jordan Thompson was very, very helpful in doing that. So I thank you, uh, Jordan, uh, for that. So let's go to the numbers right there, and let's go ahead and Bring this down so it's not so distracting with the background. I can see it there. Okay, so ABBV, which is expiring in January, is holding on, has foreign contract in play. But remember, this was a scanner, so it didn't owe us any, it doesn't owe us any money. So all the monies you see here is our profit. So if we, anyone gets into this, gets into a trade and has no one, they don't owe any money. You're not working off a loser's list, but walk, working off a watch list or a, or a um, scanner, it's profit. That's all that counts. And you keep moving up your defense. Remember, I started long here in long defense, and now I am moving up in here. And why? Because I am. It's a very good number. Okay, that said, AAP. What happened to AAP? Okay, AAP came down, and uh, we are, we are, our, our stop was here, and for some reason it was not triggered. I found out why. I hit, forgot to hit the confirmation button. Hey, guys, lose money if you don't follow your rules and pay attention to those, to those pesky rules called confirm and send, and you get distracted. And I'll come back to it later, and come back later, so you forget, and then the you close the system, and you realize, oh, uh oh, I just missed my opportunity. But luckily enough. Here's something that you call serendipity. My stop is here. Mid, mid, midfield defense, right there. That's the midfield. This is their midfield defense, and they push. They start pushing down the midfield once they get off the long distance, long defense. So it closed here at 153.79. So I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in here when I get finished with you guys to 153.70. Give it a little bit of room for tomorrow. And I get stopped out. That's okay. It's a $1,120 profit at this line. So it might be about 1100 maybe a little less. The important part is the 570 is paid. That's what's important here. It's paid. All right, let's move on now to uh, CBS. Now, CBS, we all know, those who have been following me my last couple of weeks, CBS is a big nut to crack. And this has really been a problem child, but it is what it is. And we are still in long defense here. It hasn't reached my secret number for my, for my midfield people to take over yet. So, but you see, there's a lot of little dojis. This is, means is that there, there is some resistance right in here, probably down here at the at the at the low end of this of this U-turn. This is a nice this is called a U-turn here. So you have a U-turn, the low end of that U-turn, possibility there might be some support. It goes back up again and it reaches my magic number, then I will be tra transferring the defense, the long defense to the midfield defense. That said, the and they owe five, they owe twenty-seven thirty-six. So 13, I guess, you know, I'm not fretting over the big number. I'm fretting over, give me a little bit of profit to chip away at this rock. That's all. All right, moving on. Tau. Where, uh, where is Tau? Right there. Okay, Tau had an interesting um, leg up here. 
nice move there. It it is in um, it is still in the long defense, so I have to move the defense here. But you can see that the long defense sometimes accelerates. Why? Because of the price action. When the price action accelerates, then the long defense catches wind of that, and they come right in there, and they start supporting the midfield defense. So there's not much of a difference between the two. The bottom line is that we are going to attempt to hold on to profit, and Tau is at $366, and they owe $442. Now, I know today was a down day. Uh, we did have a drop here in our benchmark for, the, for, this, for this account, the alpha team. It is what it is. Remember, I said before, don't fight the market. Just flow. Yes. Be like water, as Bruce Lee says. Just flow. Same thing here. Alpha zone 478. Uh, T minus had a move, actually, a little move up. So it's starting to chip away. This was $81 yesterday. Yeah. So we, uh, no, maybe I read it wrong. Well, it's eighty-one dollars sometime, but the bottom line is that it's it's ready to make a nice breakout here on my top barrier, and uh, once we get past that, we'll be seeing if we can close in on this. Uh, and moving on, as I said yesterday, we had four four removals from the losers list. Oh, ah, have to bring that up to point. That's two. Okay, so moving on. I want to get this rush and get it out of the way. We we got a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so here we are with XLK. XLK. Well, again, we're going for the low hanging fruit here on XLK. It unfortunately had a fallback. Did I? Yeah, it had a fallback. So, so somehow the option is not playing out well. It was 261. So that's very curious. But uh, gets all this weakness out of the way. We still have wiggle room here. We're still in long defense. So, and we still have until December for the expiration. Uh, coming down to quad, and there's quad. And the point I'm also, the, the, the thing is to showing the percentages of earnings. Now, granted, I do sometimes play a lot of, a lot of contracts. And that's uh, based on a spreadsheet that I have that I use. I develop it myself that takes into account the option and the delta and the time to expiration and all kinds of fun stuff and then come up with a magic number of how many contracts I will play in this particular term. So quad is running 13 contracts. It's fallen down. Defense is still down here. Oh no, defense is here at the 50% of the option cost. Now remember, if my 50% of the option cost is higher than my long defense, then the 50% team will take over and hold on. Uh, that is to protect capital as best you can. You really want to avoid, you really want to avoid losing more than 50% on an option. So that way when it takes off, such as Abby just, Abby does, then uh, it hits under our eye, it pays it back. Okay, moving on down to Monster. And Monster has been a disappointment. Uh, really, here we are. It's 174. And uh, but look, we have a nice little push up here. We have a nice little push up. It's uh, running 18%. Uh, so uh, it is what it is. But it's a lot better than it was a few days last week when it was a minus 1100. So that's it. So we need to go back. Unfortunately, now that Abby is our leader, we have to come back here. We have to go here to XLE. And on XLE, we need to grab this guy. And we're going to copy it. And I, and I give it to, you know, the, the point is that the leader becomes the captain of the team. So ABBV is now the current captain. So therefore, they're going to get to carry the notation for to keep track of our winners and losers. There we are. So there's our winners and losers. So you actually put this here because that's really more important. And then this is the break even. And again, this is, remember the ab is a, um, now the reason I put a top target there is that I'm also considering that no matter what trade you get into, even with the best 
positioning, you're going to have maybe a negative, a J curve situation, but you're also going to have the thing about commissions. So there's where you have, there's habit. So I have, I have a set minimum. I have a set minimum. If I get into a new trade, a fresh trade, just do this. I have a set minimum of what I want from that trade. All right. That's it. Let's finish up with the tigers. Get this baby put to bed. And the tigers right now. Holy cow. Look at this. Dominion took the lead at the tigers. Wow. Isn't that something? Boy, talk about a surprise, surprise. Dominion O was down in the dumps down here in the in the cellar zone, and now it's moved up the top floor, jumping over IYR at a holding 14%, owing the Tigers 467 and, and at the 130. And also too, Dominion is in the time decay. It's in my last 30 days of option. So what I have to do is I have to now go to my short stop. I have to go to a short stop stop in here to protect that little bit of profit. And even if I don't get the full 67, if I get something, it goes to the bottom, it goes down to the bottom of the loser's list. And then I start from the bottom of the loser's list. It's what I call my low hanging fruit. So I'll start, you know, so Dominion will get back in place. So if we get stopped out, that means it has to come down a little bit. And then I'll get ready to get right back into it with a, with a smaller indebtedness and profit to the name. All right, that going on. Oh, and here at the Tigers, the Tigers are owed. Um, and we all count, we also count the trades in play. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. We have 21 losers here in the um, – and because, I get whoever has the lead gets the note. So we're going to put here Tigers, loss, leaders, 23. Boom. So now – We'll, we'll continue watching this to see who's going to get knocked off and get this down to a nice, comfortable level. That said, coming down now, we go into IIR, and there we are, and we're here. Uh, sorry about that. And we are here, and we're still at long distance. But see how long distance is catching up. That's pretty cool. That helps protect it. 473 and 135. Yeah, like I said, if we don't get the whole enchilada on the first on the first trade, at least get profit to cut it back. Going on now, let's go see what Spy has to say. Spy had a little bit of fall, a little bit of pullback, even though it cl it closed here. I remember Spy. Well, no, 67. It's about right. It's 306. We're 230 out thereabouts, 200, 240. Um, now we're coming down to minus. And the whole purpose of showing you these things is to encourage you that trading can be profitable. The, uh, we hear a lot of, well, isn't trading ex ex expensive? No, it's not expensive. This isn't trading difficult. No, it's not difficult. Um, trading is dangerous and options are even more dangerous. You know, if you live in your world of fear, don't bother engaging me in conversation about the market. I don't need to hear the negativity. There's enough negativity in the news, enough negativity around the world and all various levels of the society and economics and whatever. The bottom line is we as individuals got to focus for ourselves. But look at this. It's got a It's getting close to making a break here. I told you this is a jalopy. Boom, 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 boom. And there. All right. But it's got a little bit in the positive zone. Dollar fifty still owes the tigers three fifteen. And now we'll come down to Waba. And there's Waba. W B A. Weba. Wow, how do you pronounce it? Uh the bottom line is we're doing a fifty percent ROI here, or fifty percent off the option cost. So this is the, this is our stop is sweating down here. Uh it's twenty-five percent. That's about right. About right. Uh if it happens, it happens. 
It owes the Tigers 169. Uh, it was up here, but it didn't qualify. It didn't qualify for a move up to our uh, our position. So there you have it for the Tigers and the Alpha account. And I thank you very much. Um, and uh, leave your comments below and tell me what you think. So that's the end for the winners and losers of September 18, 2019. I thank you very much. Bye.